Before moving on to the final test for habits, let me show you my approach to the homework I left you on the last video, starting with the test. I can just duplicate this entire test, change the function name, and then create a habit using the model factory. All I need in this case is the habit ID. Pass that to the URL and change the method to put. As soon as we test, we now have two failing tests, one for each dataset. Let's create a new form request for the update with the artisan command. Remove the authorized function and set the name and times per day as required. Finally, use the update habit request in the controller. And we are back to green. All we need to do now is test that we can delete habits. So test habits can be deleted. Now, just like the previous test, we need the habit ID. Now send a delete request and pass the habit ID. Just like before, we want to be redirected back to the habits index. And then we can just say assert database missing and check for the habit ID. This will ensure the habit was removed from the database. Let's create a new route. Duplicate the one for update, change the method, the controller action, and the route name. Now let's add the destroy method to the controller. Return a redirection to the habits index route. I'll use implicit model binding to get the habit into the destroy method and then call delete. Fantastic, and there is no reward needed, which means we have pretty much all the tests that we need for habits, at least for the time being. What I want to do now is lay the foundation for the UI. So far we haven't touched anything related to the user interface, but I think we are at a good point to start working on it. We'll be using Tailwind CSS for the styles, so let's install it using npm. Now let's create a Tailwind config file. And then configure the content paths. Finally, import Tailwind CSS classes inside resources CSS app.css. Let's create a layout for all of our views. Use artisan, make component, app layout. Then find the new layout template inside resources, views, components. I like to keep my layout templates in their own folder. So create a new folder inside resources, views, called layouts and move the app layout file into it. And then rename it to app. Now find the app layout class inside app views components. Change the view name in the render method. In the interest of time, I created a gist for the contents of the layout file. Link in the description. Simply copy and paste. Now before testing this out, we need to run our migrations. So artisan migrate. Open the habits index view and then extend the app layout like this. I'll just create an H1 with text blue, font for Excel and bold, and just use it works for the text. Now let's start Vit using npm run dev and navigate to habits. Okay, Tailwind CSS, it's ready to go. 
In the next video, we will start working on the design of the Habit Tracker UI, starting with the list of habits. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.